that you would think would be easy and natural for Republicans, and that is to cut taxes. But it's not as easy as all that, not as easy as it sounds, certainly compared to Obamacare, which became a debacle for the GOP, incredibly complicated, repeal and replace, affecting insurance markets. This is a pretty straightforward proposition. Can you convince a majority of congressmen and senators to lower tax rates on individuals and corporations? Politicians love doing this. They love uh, bestowing benefits. They love telling people and companies that they can keep more of their own money. But here is the problem. The problem is, first of all, you always have this tension between Republicans and Democrats. I don't care what administration you're talking about, where Republicans want to give more benefits to the people they see as paying more of the taxes at the top of the income scale. And the Democrats cry uh, tax break for the rich, favoring the wealthy, screwing the middle class. And that makes it difficult. So even with President Trump and his new friends, Chuck and Nancy, uh, uh, opening diplomatic relationships, it's going to be different, difficult, I should say. Uh, to cut some kind of deal. But then you have the divisions within the Republican Party. Exactly how do you distribute these benefits? You know, originally the president was talking about tax reform, and they are looking at slashing some big deductions, which could certainly be called reform. Uh, but those get very controversial. For example, it's been reported that the White House would like to get rid of the home mortgage tax deduction. Incredibly expensive, incredibly popular. People on the Hill saying there's no way you can do it politically because it is so popular, and I suspect they are right. Same thing for deductions on... Uh, for our state and local taxes, which benefits more uh, taxpayers in um, high tax states, tend to be blue states. Uh, it is a complicated set of arrangements. Every single thing in the tax code is there because some group, some lobbyist, some special interest wanted it there and will fight its removal. And then you have the simple question of how do you pay for it? Now, conservatives have always said, particularly uh, when Democrats are running the show, uh, that you can't just slash taxes and, and blow a big hole in the deficit. You've got to have offsets. You've got to find a way for pay for it. You've got to either raise other fees or cut spending, but then that becomes a difficult trade-off to accomplish. Uh, now, sometimes you get the rosy scenario. You get the uh, dynamic scoring, in other words, saying that if we do cut taxes, it will stir economic activity, and th therefore you don't need to cut spending by as much as you would otherwise. This argument goes back to Ronald Reagan and his 1981 tax cut. So the question is whether the president, who needs a win on Capitol Hill, can, can unify the Republican Party. He's planning to go out in a bunch of states and to try to sell this. Unify the Republican Party to the point where he, with some Democratic votes, could get to 60 in the Senate, or to do the convoluted budget reconciliation thing that failed on Obamacare to get to 50 or 51 votes in the Senate, um, and to try to sell this thing and to do it by Thanksgiving or Christmas. Now, it's possible that this could get tied up into a kind of a horse trading situation with extending the debt ceiling and uh, hurricane aid now that Irma has devastated Florida, as well as, you know, some sort of legalization of the Dreamers program. Yeah, that all sounds good when pundits write about it, talk about it, when our editorial writers say, sure, we could have a grand bargain. You know, Trump will give up this, the Republicans will give up that, the Democrats will compromise on this, everybody will get a piece of something they like, everybody will be happy. But think about how that worked out for John Boehner and Barack Obama. The more elements you try to tie together, the more different factions you have, the more uh, complicated it is to get a working majority. So it might just be the best route is just to simply try to cut taxes, make a deal on rates, and get that through. It seems like it should be the easiest thing that Congress does. But trust me, I've been through a lot of these exercises. It's often one of the hardest.